I started on stage uh, in Singapore. My first venture into professional theatre was in the very first production of Beauty World. I was Ivy Chan Po Chu. Uh, I have incredibly fond memories of that very first production way, way back in the then World Trade Auditorium Theatre. Do you remember that one? Initially, we worked out of Elvin's home. Uh, and eventually, we got some rehearsal space at Tarpec, uh, which was a big deal in those days. Wow, rehearsal space. Uh, and then, of course, Big Milestone was going to Cane Hill um, when we had our first office. We had Apple computers, we had office furniture, we had air conditioning. It was a big deal in those days. So that's kind of how we got started, actually. One of the places we used to use was um, Shell Theatre. I think that was called the Shell Lunchtime series. So uh, it was a very good platform for you know uh, budding companies in those days. But when you got in there, basically you rigged all the lights yourself. Uh, they were very kind and very generous to allow us to play with all the equipment they had. Uh, you did everything yourself. You rigged, you focused, you came down, you ran the, the, the sound and lighting. Uh, but I guess everyone did that in the old days. Yep. Yourself. When we first got the Tapex space, it was very exciting. There was a hall big enough to have a full scale rehearsal in. But if you wanted to rehearse at night and you wanted to simulate you know, uh, lights on and off, you would have to hang up your own rehearsal lights. Um, so I would have to scale a 10 foot um, ladder. Uh, on my own in the afternoon, nobody else was around, since everybody else was working elsewhere full time. Uh, go up there with a bunch of floodlights, um, use some cable ties, rig everything up yourself, run all the grey cables with the boy girl plugs, uh, bring it all down to those little manual dimmers we used to have. Um, just do that on your own and get everything ready for, for rehearsal. I remember when we first started, one of our main spaces was uh, the drama centre at uh, Stanford Road. We still had a manual lighting board. Uh, 36 channels maybe, and you had to patch everything together. And sometimes to run a show, you will need two lighting operators because um, someone would have to do the presets and somebody would have to run the cues. Um, so it was it was really hands all over the place like octopus, right? Uh, but those were the, you know those were, were good times because you really en enjoyed the challenge and after you remembered it.